フィーリング評価はですね。It's when a driver takes the car fitted with the test tires on the track to evaluate their performance. I evaluate by driving in situations as close to regular roads as possible, simulating runs on winding roads and stopping at crossings with signals like in town. How the tires perform when starting, accelerating, braking, and how they steer. I also check for tire slippage in every situation. Because a feeling test can't be measured by instruments, drivers have to run various tests themselves, so the test tires are properly evaluated. Only an actual driver can feel and sense how his car is going to stop when he hits the brakes. One of the key points when evaluating tires is if they will do what the driver intends, even on slippery roads when stepping on the brakes for a crossing and turning the steering wheel at the same time. Remembering that tires are some of the most important parts of cars because the tires are the only parts that actually have contact with the road. For me, the performance I look for is more than just basic high performance running and stopping, but fun to drive with safety as well. I've always loved cars, and that's why I joined this company. Three years just to practice driving. And another two to three years for completing the training needed to compare valuations by senior test staff with those of the drivers. So, probably the whole process takes about five to six years in all. As I said, I love cars, so I enter a seven hour car endurance race once a year. Well, it's when I spot a car that's got tires that I help develop. At times like that, I feel very fortunate in being able to contribute as a test driver.